and the unwinding of America's involvement can begin. Three weeks after the Paris Peace Agreement is signed, the return of America's prisoners of war begins. For hundreds of families across America, it's the end of an emotional journey. for your support. I love you this much. I love you this much. My stomach is in knots. For five years, I've done nothing but dream about this moment. Dear Mrs. Benjamin, Benjamin Purcell, Purcell, on, on behalf, behalf of the Secretary of the Army, I wish to inform you. I can't do it. Give me a minute. That's strange that I'd cry when I knew he was coming up. <laughs> we all were transported by bus or sedan to the airport, and um, we were all waiting in our little groups. And we were all waiting and waiting and waiting till the plane came. and. They had the red carpet. They had all these uh, bank of um, microphones for them to each one speak as they got off. Ben was the highest ranking. Ben. The, the highest plane ranking on the plane. They let him off first. Distinguished arrival, Colonel Benjamin H. Purcell. As soon as Ben steps out the door, the children start screaming. <laughs> They're so excited they can barely control themselves. Even I can hardly keep myself together. Fellow Georgians, some five and a half years ago... I'm trying so hard to control Army myself and wait for him to finish speaking. But all I want to do is just touch him so that I can be sure that this is for real and that he's real. The Gulf of Mexico. I just, I can't take it anymore, so in the middle of this speech, I run out of the crowd and straight up to him. 